Hello, welcome to Mommy Moves. All right, stand up. Let's get into it. Stand in Tadasana. Feet are hip width distance apart. Um, pull in the lower abs up and in. Just hold those there like you're just wearing those big granny panties. Like keep them strong. And then tuck your tailbone, let your, or just let your tailbone kind of anchor itself to your heels and drop your butt. Let, them, let your butt cheeks just kind of like flow down your, your, the back of your leg. So that's kind of the stance we have in our Tadasana. Reach up, look up, and bring your arms down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Mm, take in the day. Get ready for whatever is in store. It's so unpredictable, who knows? Just kind of move your arms. We're gonna work our legs, okay? And so, um, so we're keeping our Tadasana and we're gonna come to our stiletto heel. So the ball mounds of our feet, keep all toes into the earth. So maintain that connection. I personally like a balance challenge, so I'm not gonna lean on anything here, but you're welcome to grab the edge of the couch or the counter if you're in the kitchen, what, whatever, whatever's around to give you that stability. So find that stiletto heel, keep um, the ball mount of the feet and the outer edge of the pinky on the mat. So that that's your base, okay? We're gonna drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, just like this. I'm not gonna count out loud. I'll just let you know when we're done, but we're just gonna get into our calves, our ankles, our feet, all those muscles just gonna get to fire up, okay? If this is too much, I stepped in a little bit from hip width distance. If it's too much, step out and go like that. If it's too much, you know, take it easy. If you're starting to feel a cramp, um, you know, just kinda loosen it up here and get back into it. If this is too much, don't do this part. Okay, so we're just doing our little heel lifts. And if you're curious about my background, I'm a yoga instructor, a bar instructor, and I like to incorporate all of this into our mommy moves because I just want to get really strong. Now you start to fill it up your hamstrings into your glutes. Okay, don't worry, we're almost done. Keep going. Don't forget to breathe. Remember I was telling you about fidgeting? Sometimes I like to just swing my arms a little bit. <laughs> it's not necessary, it's not giving me any momentum. It's just giving my anxious mind something to do. <sighs> when it starts to feel uncomfortable. All right, let's go for 10 more. You got this, ready? All right, five, four, three, Two and one. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, back to Tadasana. Reach up, look up, and then fold over. So forward fold, just fall and kind of organically move here, okay? I like to bend and straighten, bend and straighten. If you um, plant your fingers or palms onto the mat, you can pedal out your toes and feet and legs. All right, now come to a halfway lift. Flat back, gaze is down. Anybody else have a lot of dog hair in their house? Yeah. And forward fold. Stand up, arms at your side. All right, let's get into a chair pose. So come into a chair pose. Again, you can use whatever is around for st stability. Again, I like a, a balance challenge, so I'm not gonna use anything, but we are gonna be lifting our legs. So find something supportive and sturdy. Um, and if you have a block, use it. If not, don't worry about it. I'll tell you when to pick that up. All right, get into chair pose. Just reach your arms out forward. Okay, no, no need for all this. Just, we're gonna get that counterbalance. And I'm already winded. And I like to normally do this, but the reason why I'm gonna suggest a block is because we've got 
that hip width distance energy all the way through our body. And so at no point are we telling our mind to do any closing of this energy. So keep, if, you, if your block feels good to kind of give that counterbalance, do that. Let me catch my breath. Okay, so thanks for coming on. <laughs> thanks for coming on, guys. All right, so we're in chair. Um, counterbalance with our block in our hands. Palms are just flat on the medium edge. Come to your chair pose. We're gonna remember that those, those granny panties holding in our lower abs, think of that here. Flat back, chest is open, collarbones open, long neck. Gaze just kind of is an extension, wherever the head falls, an extension of the spine. Gaze is natural, a little bit ahead of the mat. And then lift your left leg up. Flex your feet, and then just hold it up. We're gonna pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And then I'm gonna change it. Now this is gonna get tricky, but it's so good. We don't do this enough. So from here, bring your leg out, fold it back and down, okay? So we're up here, bring it out, fold it and around. Now this is just, this is just opening up our hips in a new way. And we don't do that enough, okay? We're not, we're not bringing counter posture to our everyday movement, which is probably this or this or this, you know? So we wanna bring some strength into into our hip socket and, and, and bring attention to that hip rotation. Make sure everything's good there. Okay. Now we're going to pulse it with our heel in the air in the back. We're going to get into the glutes and the hamstrings in three, two, keep your foot flexed. One, hold it in the back, pulse. Heel is high, just shoot it to the sky. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, how did that feel? Just kind of walk it out. We got the other side to go. Not so bad, right? Okay, so come to the other side. We're gonna move into the right leg. I started with, the right leg was our balance because that's typically the more dominant side, but I like to start with the left side as far as the work goes because a lot of times we're starting with the right side of everything. But we don't want to do the left side winded all the time because then it gets less of the workout, less of the energy, less of the intention, and we're already winded by the time we're in the left side of our bodies. And so it becomes the weaker side. So switch it up. We're back into our chair. Um, maintain your balance, remember. This is also an option. I just don't prefer it for this. Keep your hip width distance line of energy all throughout and lift. Flex your foot and hold your granny panty, your lower abs in. We're just pulsing. Not here for long. We're going to move into the hip rotation in five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg out around and in, out, around, and in. And if this feels funny, that's fine. We don't do it all the time. Don't give up on it though. Out, around, and in. And some sides are different. You're gonna notice like, oh, that, that hip doesn't move the same way. I'm definitely going out and doing some weird wonky thing. Do it anyway. My sides are definitely different. I've got more rotation on my right hip than my left. We're gonna pulse it into the back in three, two, one. This is the point of mommy moves. We're just focused, we're, whoo, I lost my gaze and lost my balance. All right, push heel high in the air. 
Maintain your chair pose, that strong left leg rooted into the ground. Keep pulsing. That glute is working. Even the left, the left hip is still working. It's still firing. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Don't worry so much about how it looks. Think about how it feels. Let's do a little bit of a, a stretch to open all that up. Back to Tadasana, reach up, look up, forward fold. Let out the biggest exhale of your life. Take an inhale and open mouth exhale. Sink deeper into your fold, let your head hang. Come to a halfway lift, inhale. Come down to your knees. And if it feels good, kind of like a hero's pose, put your block between your feet. Hug the block with your feet. Sit on the block. We're just coming into, we got a nice heart rate going. You could do that three more times, two more times if you wanted, that whole sequence. Otherwise, just let this be enough. Ah, inhale, exhale at your own speed. Come into your own natural rhythm. Your body's now alert and energized and open and oxygenated, blood circulating. So I like to sit here until my breath comes to its natural rhythm and then I get up and go. All right. You got this. Happy mommy moves. Have a good weekend for everybody celebrating Labor Day on Monday. I'll see you Tuesday. Peace. Anna.